friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video guys, we are going to tackle decorating my beverage bar. Um, last year, well earlier this year, I purchased two credenzas, one on each side of my fireplace and that was my idea was to have some type of storage, some type of cabinetry, but I wanted to have a place where I can use in lieu of a bar cart. I recently got rid of the bar cart that I had on here on the inside because I knew when I purchased the credenza, I was going to use it as my beverage cabinet and to decorate it as such. So guys, with no further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get this decorating started. I'm using beautiful colors of golds and creams with a tad bit of color here and there. It turned out very beautiful and I think you'll like it also. So go ahead, get your favorite beverage, whether it's alcoholic or non-alcoholic, and join me over here at my beverage bar. Okay, so we're starting on the credenza that's on the right side. This is the one I use for all of my alcoholic beverages as well as some of my stemware. So what I want to do here is I am going to begin um, creating layers on this um, surface. So I have these two, bit, two books in two coordinating colors. The white book you'll see has some gold writing, which I love. And then I have these books here that are um, my oldies but goodies and they're covered in burlap just to bring a little texture as well as height to this side of our bar area. Next, I'm going to use this gold vase here. This is one of my favorites that I have. I love the textures that are on this vase and it's also going to give us additional height. Because we have the height of the lamps as well as the mirror, I want to kind of build on that. So this um, vase is a little bit higher than the lamp. So now these are some pompous grass that I picked up from Kirkland's. I shared this with you guys in a previous haul. I love the different hues of grays and beige that this offers. Um, you got three of these for $29. Um, I know it's a little steep, but I wanted them. So this is what I'm going to use in the gold vase. And when you guys see the entire space come together, it is going to look amazing. And the pompous grass is what I believe really took this area over the top. So the next item that I'm going to add to this area is this very pretty and one of my favorites is this um, mercury glass gold hued apothecary jar. I love this little piece right here and regardless of where I put it, it is going to look fabulous. So this is going to start us as to building the base part of our um, arrangement over here and so the next item that I'm going to bring over here is this white iridescent bowl and I filled it with some pumpkin um, ornaments they're actually ornaments that I created into pumpkins a couple of years ago and I also have some gold greenery um, gold leaves actually as well as some greenery in there I added this gold acorn and this mercury glass gold pumpkin here and i think this area is almost done what i love about it is how everything is sort of made like a triangle and it brings your eyes up and i love all the coordinating colors with the white 
um, vase that um, complements the white that's in the lamp. And then I add some more gold hued leaves. And I can believe that we can call this area done. I'm giving you a close up of how everything looks displayed on this side. And I love it. When you step back and you see the total space, it is absolutely amazing. Now on the other side, of the credenza i've already put together um, a little vignette and i continue to use the tray that i um, glued the um finials for, for the feet i changed out the glasses put some black glasses as well as these little clear cocktail glasses at the back in the front i have our glass pumpkin as well as our gold ice bucket and that is it Everything here is um, readily available. When guests come, they can make their, themselves a drink. I'll have the bar all set up and ready, and that's it. So I thought that since I shared with you the wine cabinet, I will go ahead and share with you how I style the second credenza over here. Now, my whole concept of this area is that I wanted to create something that was warm, inviting, and cozy. So over here, I have the wood elements. For this wood pedestal bowl here, I have a compilation of the black, the um, gray as well as the um, gold hued um, pumpkins and then I have our um, black beads with the tassel on the end the very natural tassels on the end love it my intentions was to do a um, little treatment on them I'm still gonna do it I'm just behind y'all then I added these candle holders here. These are some that I already had from at least four years ago, and I love them because they're so modern and chic. I have these candles, um, LED battery operated candles from the Dollar Tree in there. And then over here in this little vignette, I have this Dollar Tree votive. I love it. It's the perfect hue of that beautiful um, crimson color with the gold base and then you see I have the faux leather pumpkins with the gold stems and this here is an arrangement that I created I shared with you how I put it together on my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram you really should be because I give you little snippets little behind the scenes of what's gonna come over here on this channel and in this arrangement I took um, some picks that were already in here took out the old picks left the cream picks and then just added to it this arrangement turned out beautifully now i have that little vignette sitting on a grouping of black and cream books with gold writing beautiful um accent to my area because those are the colors that i'm using in this area and then of course i have this beautiful candle here and you know it's the leaf scent so fall has arrived guys i want to step back and i want to give you the total overview of this area this is what you see when you come into the main living area of Wani's house I think it looks warm it is very inviting it's not over the top and it is really clean I am loving this I hope you enjoyed today's video as I shared with you how I styled and decorated my wine cabinet as well as how I styled the um, secondary credenza if you enjoyed this video I would love for you to subscribe so go ahead hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads also come on over and check me out on my Instagram you can find me over there at Wani's house just like it is here hit the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house so guys, I'm about to end this video, but before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.